thermal power plant this is the basic component condenser in each and every power plant okay the condenser is required what is the need of condenser in thermal power plant so we will discuss in brief what are the advantages and importance of the condenser in thermal power plant so first of all uh, i will show you uh, the circuit or schematic diagram of the thermal power plant and its ts diagram so you can easily understand what is the importance of the surface condenser in thermal power plant so this is the schematic diagram of thermal power plant the first component is boiler second component is turbine and uh, the connection of the turbine it is with condenser then after pump what is the function of the boiler boiler means it is a closed pressure vessel okay in which we supply the heat by some uh, external source like as a coal okay and here it will generate the steam and this steam is enter into the turbine or here it is expanded so turbine means it is a output device or it is also called expander because it will produce the work during the expansion of the steam and we have already derived the equation of work done p delta v whenever the change in volume at that time it will produce the output so turbine means it is a output device so the outlet of the turbine it is connected with this component it is called condenser what is the importance of the condenser in a thermal power plant so in a condenser there is a negative pressure or we can say vacuum will be there what is vacuum vacuum means pressure below atmospheric pressure it is called vacuum what is the need of vacuum in this condenser because whenever the air it will be there in the pressure vessel or in a condenser at that time it will create the back pressure on the turbine blades so it will reduce the work done of the turbine so the first need of condenser is maintain the 24 by 7 vacuum in the cell of the condenser okay this is the requirement of the condenser so it is connected with the vacuum pump or in some of the cases it is connected with the vacuum system whenever we required the large vacuum so condenser means it is a one type of heat exchanger okay here there is a exchange of heat between the cold fluid and hot fluid hot fluid means here we are considering steam and cold fluid means we are using cold water or uh, in most of the cases we are using sea water and this condenser it is a surface condenser why it is called surface condenser because here we are using only surface area to transfer the heat there is no any physical contact between the cold fluid and hot fluid means here the surface area of the tubes it is utilized to transfer the heat so it is called surface condenser so in thermal power plant mostly we are using surface condenser so this is the first need of surface condenser to exchange the heat between the hot fluid and cold fluid what is the need of exchange the heat between the hot fluid and cold fluid because the outlet of the turbine it is a steam we can directly supply to the boiler why we are not supplying it because the volume of the steam we know that the density of the steam is less than 1 it will depend on types of steam superheated steam dry steam or saturated steam and we know that the density of water is 1000 so steam will occupy approximately 1600 times volume as compared to water so for example we directly supply the steam without using this component so at that time our pump work it will be increases so we need to change the phase in the condenser so it volume will be decreases then after it is supplied to the boiler but our other objective is the temperature remain constant so in the boiler our fuel supply will be reduces so in a condenser there is a latent heat it will be transfer in this component what is latent heat latent heat means there is a change of phase but the temperature remain constant it is also called hidden heat so air is a resistance of heat flow okay so here we remove the air means here we are maintaining the vacuum because air is a poor conductor of heat as we know that okay the thermal conductivity of air is very low okay so it is a poor conductor of heat so our basic need is to maintain the vacuum in the condenser 
Okay, so there is a proper exchange of heat between the hot fluid and cold fluid. The another reason of vacuum. Okay, for example, uh, this classroom it is considered as a condenser or vessel, and this fan it is considered as a nozzle. So whenever the steam it will be expand through the nozzle. So in first case, for example, in this classroom. The atmospheric air it will be there, so it will create the back pressure. Okay. In another case, for example, uh, we maintain the vacuum in the classroom. Okay, there is no any air; it will be present. So in second case, we remove the air. Means here we maintain the vacuum, and whenever the uh, steam it will be expanded, so at that time it will suck the steam because energy is always flow from high grade to low grade. Same as in a condenser, whenever we maintain the vacuum, at that time it will suck the steam from the turbine. Okay, it will not create the back pressure on the turbine blades. Okay, and we know that the equation of the work done means the delta W equal to P delta V. Okay, so the output of the turbine it will be increases. This is the need of condenser in thermal power plant. The third need, you can utilize. Okay, the same water. It is converted from steam into condensed, and this condensed it is supplied to the boiler, and this condensed it is available at higher temperature. Okay, so there are two advantages. Here we uh, supply the condensed at higher temperature, so the cold supply in the boiler it will be decreases, and we know that the equation of efficiency, thermal efficiency equal to output upon input. Input means in terms of cold supply. Okay, so here. We supply the condensate at higher temperature because in this device there is a latent heat it will be transferred. Okay, theoretically latent heat will be transferred, but practically two to three degree temperature drop will be there because we cannot properly maintain the vacuum in condenser. The importance of the condenser is we can increase the efficiency of the plant. The another advantage we have already discussed here we can utilize the condensate. So the water treatment charge it will be reduces because uh, uh, we can also reutilize the uh, steam and it is converted into condensate and this condensate is supplied to the boiler. Okay, so the purification of the water water treatment uh, cost it will be reduces and whatever the uh, surplus water it is required we can supply it. Okay, so this is the basic need of condenser in a thermal power plant. The another advantage. Okay, for example, in a boiler. Okay, uh, whenever the temperature difference is vast, we know that thermal stress. Thermal stress means it is a function of temperature. Okay, so whenever the temperature difference is more, at that time thermal stress is produced more. But here we supplied the condensate at higher temperature. So the advantage in the boiler here, the thermal stress in the boiler it will be reduces. So the life of the boiler will be increases. So these are the advantages of the condenser. So for that, in thermal power plant, we are using condenser. So this is all over about condenser. So I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also press bell icon for more video updates.